Hello friends and family welcome to the Holy Scripture Christ is Lord. This is another reaction video. Make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel. Let us watch and have some fun this video is only for educational purposes. Hope you learned something from it. <laughs> الملك فهد يوم ريغان يطلب منه تمويل زوار الكونترا قال له واحدة بوحدة أبي دولة الفلسطين قال له أبشر ووقع الخطاب دولة الفلسطين وعلم الملك فهد عرفات أنه حصلنا دولة فلسطينية هرب عرفات ما شافوه إلا بعد عشر سنين من هالكلام هذا هرب ما يبي دولة فلسطينية كلكم ما تبون دولة فلسطينية لأن أساسا ما لكم قضية ولا لكم دولة ولا لكم أرض هذه أرض إسرائيل بالقراء وأنتم شتات رومان ملفقي مغول وتركمان وشركس وأرمن وغجر ما لكم حق في فلسطين فلسطين هذه دولة إسرائيلية لبني إسرائيل وبني إسرائيل لمعلوميتكم بني إسرائيل هذولا عيال إسحاق وحنا يا العرب عيال إسماعيل وإسحاق وإسماعيل أخوين أبوهم إبراهيم عليه السلام يعني هذولا عيال عمنا لكن أنتم منين جيتوا أنتم مش دخلكم بالموضوع أنتم يا الشتات يا الغجر يا المغول يا التركمان يا الشركس يا الرومان يا 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 بقايا الشعوب ايش دخلكم بالموضوع ايش دخلكم بالسال ايش دخلكم بيننا هذا بني اسرائيل على ارضهم ما لكم ارض انتم ولا لكم قضيه يا جماعه انتم ادوقتونا واشغلتونا ولا اقصى لا اقصى لمعلوميتك ما عندكم اقصى ما في شيء اسمه اقصى في شيء اسمه القدس المسجد الاقصى اللي ورد ذكره هو بالجعرانه 29 كيلو على الطائف وكان المسجدين المقصد المسجد الاقصى والمسجد الادنى المسجد الاقصى حقكم بناه هشام عام 72 هجري، كيف يسرى محمد له وهو مبني عام 72 للهجره؟ يعني بعد وفاه محمد ب 60 سنه. تضحكون على مين انتم؟ تضحكون على مين؟ الفلسطيني انت ما انت عربي. ولا لك ارض ولا لك قضيه. الارض ارض اسرائيل. والقضيه قضيه اسرائيل معكم. كان اسحاق شامير و ورابين وشارون وجولدا ماير و... والثاني والله ما ادري ايش اسمه هذول كانوا ابطال تدري ولا لا؟ لكن نتنياهو جبان لان نتنياهو ما حركهم ما ادري وش يبي بهالاسلحه مكدسها عنده يا ادمي يا نتنياهو احرق هالعصابات هذه وهالشتات وهالملفقين وريح نفسك وريح العالم منهم وريحنا احنا منهم ليش مخليهم؟ ليش فتح لهم الحدود يهاجرون؟ نراحوا للاردن سووا ويلون الاسود، ونراحوا للكويت انهبوه يوم صدام احتله، انهبوه يلبسون لبس الجيش العراقي وينهبوه. الخسه والنذاله والحقاره ما يتركونها، هذه تربيتهم وهذا دمهم وهذا عرقهم. ليش ما تريح العالم منهم يا نتنياهو اذا انت رجال وبطل؟ ها؟ الله يلعنكم ويلعن حتى نتنياهو اللي ما خلصنا منكم. لان نتنياهو تارك لكم الحبل على الغارب. والمفروض نتنياهو هو اللي يأدبكم وهو اللي خلص العالم من شروركم أنتم شر في أي دولة تحطون فيها يا الفلسطينيين شر منزل ولا بكم رجل أنا مستعد أنام عند يهودي ولا أنام عند فلسطيني أنا مستعد أقلط يهودي في بيتي وغديه ووكله وشربه ورقده ولا أدخل فلسطيني في بيتي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله As you say this is a Saudi and I have to agree with him with many things he said the funny is that when we say to people that those have nothing to do with this land they say you are a liar I say Al-Aqsa was not how Al-Aqsa is, <laughs> is is the mosque even the hadith says that this is this is the temple of Solomon built by Solomon <laughs> they say you are a liar this is where the prophet went we say that those people, who is the king of Palestinian? Give me his name. Where, when, where was this kingdom was? And who are they, those people? And why, if they are Palestinian, why do they speak Arabic? They say they are there from the beginning. And why they look different? Look, this is an Arab. Look, look, look at, the, at those uh, 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 Hamas, how they look like. So they share nothing. They don't share the blood. They don't share the language. They don't share anything. They don't share the, the, the ethnic. The, the land is not their land. Uh, he described them as gypsy. Uh, I, uh, I described them as pipsy because it's a mix of many things. And, you know, you will see them 
uh, some they have the blue eyes some they have a green eyes some look like African some look uh, I mean they are totally a huge mix of ethnic groups and they are not a nation never was a nation in the top of that I agree with him about what he said uh, about Netanyahu I mentioned one million times Netanyahu is a coward and actually the reason for them now to do what they did because that you know when they see somebody a leader he is a coward uh, you know the criminal will flourish he will enjoy it he would love it this is the time we can do anything we can get away with it he is literally a coward and until now he still even if he do the attack even if he finish them is still he is a coward because he is not doing it because he should do what he should do he is doing it because he's been forced to do so even if he kill every single one of Hamas which is not going to happen it's not going to happen this guy is a businessman he will take over the land he will let many escape uh, he don't he don't know what he, he's not he's not a, he's not a he's not a leader look until now he is waiting for them until they make more tunnels and escape now he asking them to go to the south how many of Hamas they will go to the south they go with the Medin with the civilians so what they do is so stupid they are just politician but what this guy he said is very important I don't agree about they are the cousins of the Jews because they are from Ishmael that is false because Ishmael he married an Egyptian woman and he is a son of an Aramaic man and the mother is Egyptian so how in the world the Arab are coming from him and we know where he married which 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 area so this is from the fiction of Islam that Ishmael is the father of the Arab in fact even the Muslim they agree that Ishmael according to them he learned Arabic at the age of 11 from the Arab <laughs> so how he can be the father of the Arab <laughs> anyway but you notice he said he would like to sleep in a house of, an, of a Jew or have a Jew in his house but he don't trust Palestinians and he mentioned to you why when Saddam Hussein invade Kuwait as an example not 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 necessarily as like this is the only thing right away the so-called Palestinians they betray the Kuwaiti who gave them good jobs and I mentioned that before many times they gave them good jobs he gave them uh, a, a nice salaries he gave them even equal right to the Kuwaiti citizen even the, the uh, if you go to any uh, uh, official office in uh, Kuwait you will see the leader almost the mayor of the city is a Palestinian he made some of them even ministers in the government in less than half hour after Saddam Hussein entered Kuwait all of them became supporters of Saddam Hussein and they betray the one who was giving them jobs and salary and money and making them rich for the last 40 years he mentioned what happened in Jordan Jordan opened their houses for them right away they want to kill the king and they want to replace him and they want to make Jordan a Palestinian country look what they did he did not mention Lebanon look what they did in Lebanon they went to the Lebanon until now Lebanon is burning because of the Palestinians did you ask yourself why nobody want to have the Palestinians why the Saudi don't want them why the Kuwait don't want them why the Emirati don't want them why the Egyptian don't want them why nobody want them the answer you will see in what this man said play the video again and take your time to listen okay guys like share and comment below thanks for watching hope you enjoy see you soon